We're going to be talking about the Black Ops 6 marketing. Um, there's been some big talk about a Master Chief showing up. Uh, that was that that was that was supposed to happen during uh, Modern Warfare 3. That got uh, scrapped at the last minute. Obviously, Black Ops 6 is going to be a much bigger game, and it's going to sell boatloads of, 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 of DLC. Mm -hmm. Microtransactions out the yin yang. Jamie, look, the, the, the title of this is, of course, we're talking about the marketing. Now, the marketing has, and I've seen some people, even in this chat, uh, and make some accusations about the the marketing has not been uh, there's not been a lot of marketing, and I, again, listen, if you haven't seen it, I, what am I going to say? I'm not your eyes. I'm not in your head. If you didn't see it, you didn't see it. I can tell you what I've seen. All I've seen is Black Ops Six marketing. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the 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 actor that's playing the fixer that has basically taken over the marketing on almost everything. You mean the replacer. Nothing, the replacer? The replacer. Yeah, I said the fixer. Yeah, the replacer <laughs> uh, is is here, there, and everywhere. Uh, you saw that it was in Times Square multiple times um, here in New York. Um, Jamie, look, this is a two-tiered conversation. One, the marketing. And the question is exactly how big is Call of Duty going to be? in 2024 because i think it has the chance to be the biggest in probably the franchise history i know that, that that that's a lofty goal that i am setting but it seems like there is a buzz across the entire industry about about this particular game which of course if we did know is the longest call of duty game that's ever been in development so over four years for this game and it's again i've we haven't we've seen some instances of the single player it looks phenomenal. We've all got a chance to play the multiplayer on multiple weekends, and it's launching this uh, this Friday. But the second half of the conversation, and of course you can incorporate it any way you see fit, is I think just based on the buzz, based on the reception from both gaming media and, of course, social media, Microsoft Game Studios, who has a massive issue with their messaging and their marketing, needs to adopt this kind of viral marketing to Xbox Game Studios first party moving forward. I think that if they don't, it's a fail. That's just my take. Let's get yours. I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, it is going to be the biggest game of the year. Like, as someone that hasn't touched multiplayer, since 2011 like that's the longest break i've had from multiplayer getting back into call of duty this year but playing black ops 6 the multiplayer beta it's some of the most fun i've ever had in a multiplayer game the movement it, it reinvigorates the the entire gameplay situation because we've had in the past like things like jet packs jump packs and people have complained but Across the board, people love this multiplayer. It is really a game changer. And, you know, that's going through all modes. But, you know, I'll get into the, the marketing thing in a minute. But, like, the the fact that this game is what it is has a lot of people hyped. You have Black Ops-only fans that have been waiting for years for a new game to come out. And Cold War was fantastic. But that, that came out with the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So we've been waiting a while for a new one. And, you know, this looks like it could be the biggest Call of Duty in years. Modern Warfare 3, the campaign was like four hours long <laughs> and, uh, you know, kind of disappointing. But we all know that was originally meant to be an expansion. But this campaign alone has had the longest development time than any campaign ever for Call of Duty. Yes. It's, it's going to be a huge campaign. You have round-based zombies returning for the first time in years, which people have been needing. And like I said, with the multiplayer people across the board were having fun massive twitch streamers random people just loved the multiplayer and it was so much fun and this is the first call of duty i've seen in a long time where people weren't really complaining about anything and i've never seen this much hype for a call of duty since modern warfare 2 in 2009 right a lot of people or might be 2010, uh, whenever. Uh, I've seen so much hype for this. It's unreal. And when it comes to the marketing stuff, uh, they've leaned into, you know, 
uh, viral marketing heavy. I mean, hell, the replacer uh, randomly showed up on one of the Sidemen videos. Yes. <laughs> right? I, I was watching one of their videos, and the replacer just walked down on set and sat down on the couch and started talking. I'm thinking, wait a minute. What the hell? <laughs> like, like, that made no sense. But like they, they've clearly went out of their way to get this replacer character uh, talk about Call of Duty everywhere and it's working people are talking about this character because it's funny you know viral marketing does work and in the past I, like i think everyone's complained about microsoft marketing and uh, but call of duty like everywhere it's black ops 6 so much excitement over it not just the viral marketing but like people like there's posters on the side of buses trains like it is huge and it's something like people being like me and you and everyone here has been wanting microsoft to lean into this style of marketing and they actually do that uh, i think they know that they have a, a massive hit on their hands and also look at the game pass thing people have been saying for like the past what a uh, few months that microsoft can't market that it's coming to game pass evidently that's not the case <laughs> you know we've seen the well, past well i mean the, the the same actor that's 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 playing i keep saying i keep saying he's the fixer but um uh what, what is his name again jamie Seems Kevin something, Kevin. Yes, yes. He he he, they, he showed up in an Xbox Game Pass uh, still, where he covered all the Game Pass games with Call of Duty Black Ops Six, and it, it's hilarious. Like it, it it's it's so over the top. I, like I said, go watch the interview with Shannon Sharp because Shannon Sharp is reading. Now, obviously, you know Shannon's he's he's a funny dude. Like he's just funny in general. But he's like reading the card, and he's, ex uh, you know, based on the skit that they're doing, expecting like Fat Joe to come out to talk about his history as being, you know, in, in hip hop. And the guy just sits down, and he's like, "Yeah, hey, you know, I'm just pretend I'm Fat Joe," and he's <laughs> he starts asking him questions about his career, and it's it's dude, it's crazy funny, and I it's it's over the top marketing, and it's exactly what I think. I mean, it's my opinion. And if I'm wrong, so be it. But if there's one thing that we could all agree on is that if there's a glaring issue with anything, Jamie, that jumps off the page almost instantly with Xbox, it is their messaging and their marketing. It has been terrible for years. They need to adopt this type of viral marketing, in my opinion. Yeah, viral marketing works. And... Uh, Xbox, like the, the, their messaging and uh, marketing for years, hasn't exactly been the best. Exactly, and you know, I say that as a huge Xbox fan. It's it's clear, like you know, they need to do better. But if they need to adopt this style of marketing, and you know, I never thought I'd say John Abruzzi from Prison Break marketing Game Pass, like, but it is what it is. I think it's awesome. Uh, I, I just think it's great because I think that you know. Call of Duty has been this biggest, it's been one of the biggest games of the year, basically every year since Modern Warfare 2007. Uh, it's basically the biggest game if a GTA doesn't release most of the time. And like, there's so much hype around this. Like, they, 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 they're doing everything right. They're marketing it everywhere. They have viral marketing going on. They have Game Pass stuff going out there, which everyone knows about now, which is really cool. And you know, the, the Game Pass thing alone, I don't think people realize how big of a deal that is. You know, when the ABK, the ABK deal went through, a lot of people were talking. Like, I know a lot of people that were talking about switching to Xbox just because they wanted to play Call of Duty and Game Pass. And for a lot of people, the, there's millions and millions of people that their, their only game they play every year is Call of Duty. And that's always going to be the case. That's the the bulk of people do console warming on Twitter all the time. And 90% of these gamers that buy these consoles buy it for COD or FIFA, right? Yeah. And it's always going to be that way. Exclusives are nice, right? They're shiny and pretty, and you know, you can plaster them all over marketing. But like when it comes to people buying these consoles in bulk, it's Call of Duty players mainly. And you have so much hype around Black Ops 6 and you have Game Pass tied to that. Like, Game Pass has had a lot of marketing in the past few years in the UK, but it, it's to the point where I have to I have to explain to people what Game Pass is. But as soon as the Black Ops situation came out, 
and people know that Black Ops is going to be in Game Pass day one. Like ev- everyone knows about this. Everyone. Yes. And putting that in with the viable marketing, that that's going to be huge for them. So like it's going to be a big win for Microsoft. It's going to be a big win for gamers because more people are going to be playing and it's going to funnel money more like more money back into the Xbox service and we'll get more games and all that stuff. But uh they do the thing about Black Ops is and like we've said this a million times in the past. Xbox marketing their games can be pretty bad, but with Black Ops 6, they are literally doing everything right. Campaign, yeah. they're marketing it right. Zombies, they're marketing it to the exact demographic they need to. And multiplayer, multiplayer has needed to change for years, but we don't want bloody jump jump packs again. And the omnidirectional <laughs> movement, it's, it's literally fantastic. It's dude. fantastic. It's basically first person Max Payne 3 multiplayer, right? <laughs> It is crazy. It's over the top. You have people flying around like chipmunks on acid. It just works. <laughs> and along with the market, and like it's going to be the biggest Call of Duty probably ever. I, I really think it is. I, I think you're going to, if I recall correctly, uh, the last one did a billion dollars, I think, in 10 days. I, and again, I, yeah. I, I don't remember offhand. So maybe I, I, I might be wrong with it. I know that it took over a week. Uh, to get that billion dollars, I I think this thing breaks a billion dollars in the first four days. Personally, just the way the marketing has been, the excitement around Call of Duty, the excitement around it, be it, it being an Xbox Game Pass, um, you know, and and, and you know, of course, Louis, it, there's been a lot of talk in the community about well, you know, it's gonna, you know, we've seen some articles specifically from like GI.biz did one over over the weekend that just was just a bonehead kind of a opinion piece about how PlayStation is going to be better suited for numbers in the black for sales because more people own PlayStation uh, fives than they own Xbox series X and S. And that's true. That's an absolute fact. It's two to one here in the States, worse in other countries. Um, But just because uh, of that fact that there were more PlayStation 5s available in the wild, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to just on principle be more people buying on PlayStation 5 because we've seen how that actually goes uh, when it comes to sales on specific games. Now, Call of Duty is its own monster. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but getting back to the topic at hand regarding the marketing, get your, I want to get your hot thought, your, your hot take thoughts on it. But I want to ask you. I want to ask the opinion. You have been on this show. You have been on the Xbox International podcast, and you've talked. You guys have talked about this specifically about how terrible their messaging and marketing has been. This is a clear direction on how they need to use viral marketing for some of their games. I just imagine the next Gears of War. Now, I'm not saying you're going to see a young Marcus Phoenix sitting on a couch with uh, Shannon Sharp. Uh, of course, you're not going to see that. But the the way that they have marketed, especially the single player campaign, can easily been, be translated over to a Fable, to a Gears E Day, to the next Halo, to the next Forza, and it could do things. And they should do things that they're just not used to doing. And that, and as fans, as Xbox fans, we're not used to seeing them do. Getting Activision involved, I think, is going to be key. And I think they should follow suit. What are your thoughts? Well, I don't know if you remember a couple of months ago that an article came out that they were saying that um, the Xbox marketing, you know, wish they had the funding that PlayStation had. Yes. I don't know if you remember that. Also, 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 we saw that the lead marketing guy, you know, I don't know if he got laid off or he retired. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But there, it seems like there has been some changes, which I'm really happy about because for years I've been saying, man, their messaging is kind of, you know, a little bit off. Yep. The communication, you know, especially with the developers, has been a, a little bit off, too, because we saw, like, a couple of things come out with devs, you know, uh, the whole Entora situation, which that was kind of like I'm still, yeah, with that one, but with the rest of the other guys, you know, that they were, like, lacking a little bit of communication with the devs. And um, a lot of things that's just been happening around that just need, need to get some fixing. Now, what's interesting about this is that they're finally getting around it and they're fixing everything. They're actually bringing it down, right? I mean, they're actually bringing it down. They're making it. Way better than how it is because, man, like I said, Call of Duty has been everywhere. 
That's also beautiful marketing. Now, 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 what Xbox needs to do for me, because boom, I don't know if you felt this, Mr. Boomstick, but me, me, for example, me, when I saw that beautiful golden console, you know what Sean's talking about, right? I know was, exactly what you're talking was, about. That was, I, I was announced like two weeks ago. I was like, oh, man, I saw that picture. Like, I looked at my console and said, you know what? You're going to go away now because I'm getting that golden console. But when I saw that thing in the raffle, man, I was like, that's that really hard. Yeah, they, it's heartbreaking, brother. It's heartbreaking. They need to yeah. bring that stuff back. I mean, literally, I was sitting here thinking like, man, I'm going to sell this thing for how much? You know, I was, I was already doing the math <laughs> in my head. Literally, when I saw that console. That They're giving control. 400 bucks for it, dude. That would have been a great trade in, man. Oh, oh not, not here. You know, here it doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know. But at the end of the day, though, I would have got that golden console. It was beautiful. They need to come back to that. I mean, I cannot wait to see the Gears of War one. Because for me, the best Gears of War console was the Gears of War, Um, I think it was three or four. The one that was red, the, the Xbox One S, that was a beautiful console. Beautiful console. But, yeah. The marketing is getting better. Super dope, super hyped up with this, man. I'm super hyper with, with everything that's going on. They're on ESPN. They're pretty much everywhere, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And yes, Xbox got to keep this marketing going with everything and anything that's coming on to Xbox from, from their studios and everything. They got to grab the vision and say, hey, promote us stuff. Let's get it out there. You know, let's get people hyped up for what, what we do is gaming. That's what you got to do at the end of the day. You got to get the people hyped up for that. Now, for game industry biz situation, I know you mentioned, mentioned the game industry biz. Yes. I sit there and I read that article. For me, that was like the joke of, I don't know, I think it could be the joke of the year, the joke of the month, because I got to throw a little bit of slander on that. Why did I got to throw a little bit of slander? Because all they talked about was Call of Duty Black Ops 6. That's all I talked about. But I think, I mean, I was like, what did it happen for... I mean, I'm asking myself, where have they been for years? Because, I mean, Call of Duty, Activision, Blizz, right? I mean, Activision, Blizz is a big thing. So yeah. whatever Warzone generates, it's money. Whatever Blizzard generates, it's money. We saw the other day that Diablo generated, uh, for already, $1 billion already. So yeah. is it bringing in the money? Yes, because you all try to push an act that it's just Black Ops 6. It's not just Black Ops 6. There's so much stuff out there that is you know, attached to this deal that is bringing in the money. You got King. You got all that stuff that's just bringing in that money in. That's what they're doing. 